Hi, John Villa here, President-Elect for the Huntington Beach Chamber of Commerce and also the Executive Director for the Huntington Beach Wetlands Conservancy. We're here on a very special day today as we um, open up a brand new restaurant here at the end of the Huntington Beach Pier, Bud and Jeans. We'd also like to thank our elected officials that are here, our board members, uh, our council members, and also and everyone else here to be here at this momentous occasion. And I would like to talk to the owner of this restaurant, Alex. He's going to do some introductions for his team. Uh, thank you, John. I, I uh, first want to just sincerely thank everyone for coming today, uh, especially Mayor DeGlazy. Thank sure. you so much. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Posey, thank you. Uh, council members um, Peterson, um, uh, Eric Peterson, Natalie Moser, Rhonda Bolton, and Kim Carr, uh, thank you so much for coming. Police Chief Eric Parra, thank you. Fire Chief Scott Haberly, um, Marine Safety Battalion Chief uh, Dieterman, um, Representatives of Congresswoman Michelle Steele, uh, Assemblywoman Nguyen, thank you, uh, Assemblywoman Representative of uh, Cotty Petrie Norris. Um, so we're very, very thankful uh, 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 for the, these, these officials uh, to attend. I do want to, before we begin, I do want to thank some uh, other people that really were instrumental in, 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 in helping us uh, get, this, get this together. One is uh, Steve Howe from the city uh, of Huntington Beach and Chris Casanova that have really uh, uh, a lion's share of, of the work landed on them. And uh, I'll say the encouragement, and that's putting it nicely, to get going and get something open uh, for the city here. Um, I wanted to thank our local contractors, Slater Builders, Mike Curran and Jennifer Butzer here. Um, they, they uh, uh, local um, uh, construction firm. I want to thank um, uh, director of, our director of development, John Cunin, who was tireless in, in, in these efforts. Um, uh, I do want to say, um, so many people are here, there's one person I'm thinking that's not here, it's my mother uh, who passed away 25 years ago, but the reason that I'm here is really because of her. And that's because she taught me the importance of parks. She grew up in Brooklyn, little apart small little apartment with her family, up on the eighth floor of an apartment building. She would take her bicycle in the elevator down and bicycle to Prospect Park, which is the central park of, of Brooklyn. And she would tell me about how wonderful that was for her. She got out of her small apartment where everybody was the same as her, went out to, the, went out to this beautiful park and was able to connect with nature uh, and connect with other types of people. And um, it, was a, it was a place of a connection for her. When I saw that this uh, spectacular site and iconic building were available, I said this is a beautiful, beautiful park for the city of Huntington Beach. And it allows the people to leave their homes, even during COVID, walk out in the outside air, get inspired by nature, meet their neighbors, meet other types of people, while, while everybody's enjoying and taking in the same, the same thing. So it brings people together. And really our goal is to uh, enhance this beautiful park that the city has provided uh, for us. We're very um, cognizant, this is a city-owned building. We're stewards, we don't, we're, not, we're not owners, and uh, we really wanna, want to, um, to do our best. We've, um, taken the name to honor longtime public servants, City of Huntington Beach public servants, um, Bud uh, uh, Higgins and Jean Belshi. And the reason that we, we took their names is they really represent so much about what's inspiring about the city. They loved and respected the ocean. They were the first, um, they saw the great Duke surf down in Corinna del Mar, and they were so inspired. They, they, were, they grew up here in the 20s, 10s and 20s and 30s in Huntington Beach. They, they, they loved the water. They saw the Duke surf, they were inspired. They talked to him after the surfing demonstration in Corinna del Mar about how to build a surfboard, and then they crafted for themselves those two handmade uh, surfboards, 135 pounds each, and they became Huntington Beach's first surfers uh, and first shapers because they made the first two surfboards. They then figured out a way to be at the water all the time, and they became the Huntington Beach's first paid full-time lifeguards in 1927. Uh, they then proceeded to serve the city of Huntington Beach with distinction for the rest of their careers. Uh, Bud Higgins rose, he became the first fire chief um, and uh, stayed in that position until his retirement, where he became the unofficial city historian, I understand. Uh, uh, Jean Belshi, Eugene Jean Belshi, died uh, uh, too young at 46. He became the assistant uh, police chief before he, um, before he died. And he left, uh, but both have left a very, very important 
legacy in building lifeguarding to what it is today here in Huntington Beach, a profession, a, uh, a, 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 pl a place full of wonderful public servants. Uh, Jean Belshi also left behind another legacy, which is a family which has now four generations of Huntington Beach lifeguards. Uh, four generations, um, and I'd like to introduce at this time uh, Jean Belshi's uh, grandson and great-grandchildren, Dana Belshi, uh, former Huntington Beach lifeguard, Chloe Belshi, one who's escaped that, that path, Roxy Belshi, age 17, uh, one of the um, uh, youngest uh, Huntington Beach uh, lifeguards, and they're coming up to, to, say, to say a few words. Um, and, and where's Roxy? She's at the end oh. Way over here. Roxy, I have one thing before before I let let <laughs> your father speak. I wanted to let you know that in honor of our opening and in honor of your great grandfather and Bud Bud and Bud Higgins, uh, we are donating five thousand dollars to the City of Huntington Beach Junior Lifeguard Association. Thank you so much, Gene Belshi. I I just want to say I um, had to write it down because I can't remember anything. The Belshi family believes that there's no one besides Alex Left and his team that could have brought such an amazing provider to the city of Huntington Beach. The Belshi family is honored to see the recognition and awareness of not only Gene Belshi and Bud Higgins, but also other pioneers that served the city of Huntington Beach in the past. We'd also like to thank those who continue Bud and Gene's legacy the people serving the community of Huntington Beach today as police, lifeguard, and fire. My daughter Roxy, as Alex said, is a fourth generation Huntington Beach lifeguard, and we are blessed to be a part of this amazing pier and city. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well Alex, was there anything else you wanted to say before we continue? Or anybody else you wanted to introduce? I remember tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I, I do. So, John, I, come. I do have. Um, oh, I do. I do. Yes, I do. You want a message from? Uh, I have from a message Higgins. from. Uh, yes, yes. yes. John Wool. So, uh, John, I, John, this is John Cunin, our director of development, again, who's worked tirelessly to get this open, and we we have a message from Bud Higgins' grandson, who. Uh, um, immigrated to San Diego, sadly, but he sent us, a, and he couldn't be here today, but he sent us a message to read to, the, to, to, to those gathered here. So this is from Roderick Trace. He is the gr great-grandson of, of uh, Bud Higgins. He says, congratulations are in order on this special day of opening Bud and Jean's restaurant. I am sure my grandfather, Bud Higgins, would have been very happy to see it happen. He dedicated his entire life to helping make the city a better place for everything, everyone, starting with his passing, starting with, I'm sorry, starting with his public career. He was the first lifeguard chief, then fire chief, and unofficial city historian until his passing. Bud was also, along with Gene, one of the first surfers and shapers in Huntington Beach, Every surfer, including myself, that has ever lived the dream of surfing in Huntington owns Bud and Gene, a debt of gratitude for their role in making it as famous as it is. He was always ready to share any history, information, and photographs he had with anyone else. I can remember many knocks on the doors of our old beach house at 505 Lake Street. It would be someone inquiring about a bit of history of Huntington Beach, and I would be able to listen to my grandfather tell so many great stories. I wish all the best for Bud and Jean's success. So we, so we, we, we are very happy and uh, to be able to honor Bud and Jean, but please understand that, th that there are wonderful public servants here in the city of Huntington Beach, and uh, they deserve to be honored and respected for what they've done, including creating this, again, beautiful park for the community to enjoy which we hope to uh, enhance and, uh, and, and we hope to become part of this wonderful community. Very good, Alex, thank you very much. So now we have some certificates from our elected officials and we're gonna start off with Mayor Barbara Douglas. Mayor? 
Thank you. Thank you so very much. I will sit here. Hi, everyone. I am your mayor, Barbara Del Glaze. You know, many of us were sort of sad to see Ruby's go, but what an outstanding concept you've brought to Surf City, USA. This location is truly iconic. I think someone's trying to wave to us. Way back, everybody, way back. <laughs> I appreciate that, I, that all of Huntington Beach and your guests, the name that you've given, Bud and Jeans. Not only on both sides of the, the public servants to serve cities for decades, Bud, as you just heard, was our first fire chief and city historian and our assistant police chief. What an incredible legacy that they've left behind. And for them to be remembered, here is really something special. Not only did you name the restaurant after Huntington Beach locals, but you also included one of our own, Melissa Murphy, to help, uh, help add her create, yes, clap, to help her artistic flair with her wave theme mural. Good job, Melissa. I just wanted to wish you all the very best here and just know you will do well. Our community has been looking forward to see what would fill the shoes of Ruby's and I think you've outdone yourself. Chef Witzel, you, your menu looks amazing and I cannot wait to see what other creations you come up with. And I am looking forward to trying the food. This is such a special day as we mark the opening of Bud and Jeans. It's a start of a new chapter a new era, this iconic location. Best of luck to all of you and to all of us. And this restaurant will be very, very successful and just be a um, keepsake for the city. Thank you. And I get to give this to you. Thank you very much. Is, you can <laughs> you can read this tonight when you're smiling going to bed, okay? Uh, after I complete law school, I will, oh, okay, I will I'll be able to understand it. Well, that. just know that the people, all the people here and all the people um, coming, they don't even know that they're coming here, um, are in the spirit of all of this. Thank you. So thank you so very thank much. Thank you. We're, we're honored. Thank you thank so much. Thank you. Next, we have from uh, Congresswoman Michelle Steele's office. She's going to be giving her uh, declaration, her certificate as well. Hi, Alex. Uh, my name is Kim. I'm here today on behalf of your Congresswoman, Michelle Steele. Um, just thank you so much for allowing us to be part of this historic day for Huntington Beach. Um, you know, I think everyone has already mentioned it, but this is such a world famous pier in Surf City, USA. And again, it's very iconic, very iconic building. Um, in fact, the Congresswoman has a picture of this pier in this building in her office, and we'll have to update it when you have your signs go up. Um, so just congratulations. We wish you nothing but success. That's for you. Thank you. Thank you. Next we have our Honorable Assemblywoman, Janet Nguyen here. Janet. Congratulations. No, wait, did I just hear you're going to law school as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, oh, wow. Only one, to, one, only to read all the fine print on that certificate. Okay, okay. I was going to say, I'm like, one success after another. Uh, this is amazing. Congratulations. Um, we all know here, and we can all remember how many times we've all been here to the restaurant, and we were, we're all sad. We were all sad when Ruby's left as well. But now we can see the new iconic, the history. Thank you for the history. I didn't know about Bud and Jean. Um, I've heard about them but not as in-depth as what you've given today and so um, not only do I get to come here to enjoy the new grand opening and the new success and the legacy of our city and our people and our locals um, you've given me more than I've actually asked for today and so um, best wishes um, you know thank you for choosing Huntington Beach thank you for always putting parks and open spaces first um, and I love your story of your mom as well, because, you know, as you remember, during COVID, we were all looking for that outdoor space. And Orange County has the best outdoor spaces for all of us to um, enjoy and be part of, and be part of it and, and, and enjoy with our family. And so congratulations, my best wishes. And as the mayor said, we, I think we all look forward, Chef. Now you have big, big shoes to fill that she call you out on your food. So, um, okay. you know, all right. so we're, we're all looking forward to it. Um, and um, best wishes to, your, to you, the staff and everybody else.
Now we have from uh, Assemblywoman Cotty Petrie uh, Norris's office, Teddy. My name is Teddy. I'm a representative for Assemblywoman Cotty Petrie Norris. And uh, on behalf of the California State Assembly and the Assemblywoman, I'd like to congratulate you on opening. Um, just say we're really excited to see another restaurant come in. This has been a favorite place of mine since I was young. Um, but yeah, we wish you all the best and happy to see you back up on the pier. And lastly, representing the Huntington Beach Chamber of Commerce, our own CEO, Visit HB, Kelly Miller. Kelly. Thank you, John. Can you all hear me? Yes. Um, Alex and uh, John, thank you for your investment and your faith in Surf City USA. I'm glad uh, Bud Higgins and uh, Gene didn't see me surfing or they would have whispered, don't ever name the restaurant Kelly's at the pier. So <laughs> that's all I got to say. But I was just sitting here thinking on behalf of the chamber, uh, we're over 100 years old. And in 1914, Henry Huntington brought George Freeth down for the opening of this pier. And for a Friday and Saturday, over 5,000 people came down on both days to watch a man walk on water. So fast forward over you know, 108 years ago, here we are. So on a promise of the owners and the operators here, show up here 100 years from now and you'll get free burgers and fries. So. <laughs> We encourage you to uh, put this in a place of prominence and, and uh, put it up there proudly. The chamber is over 100 years old. And again, congratulations and thanks for your investment. We appreciate that. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you very much. How about a ribbon cutting, everybody? Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one.